Hey guys, it's Fabian. I know I haven't done a video in like six days. I've had a few personal problems, but it's past. It's all gravy, guys. Life goes on. So I'm back today and I'm focusing on a fragrance review for you guys. Today's review is going to be on Jill Sanders Sun Men. Let's tip the box. There you go. Jill Sanders Sun Men. White on the front, orange metallic on the back. Nothing too special. Same goes for the bottle, frosted glass, Jill Sanders Sun Men on the side, and that orange metallic cap. So, cool stuff. This fragrance was released in 2002. Um, it was based off of the original Sun for Women by Jill Sanders that was released in 1989. Now, this came out in 2002. Took them a while to make a men's edition. It's here, a lot of people like this, and it's a great fragrance, so there are a lot of good reviews, at least in Europe, a lot of good reviews about this fragrance. This is a hit in Europe, this is a hit in Europe. Um, it's a great mix out of citrus woody accords, it is classified as a woody fragrance. The perfume Ye behind this is Beatrice Piquet and Elaine Astori. The bottle sizes of this is a 75 ml, which is this one, and a 125 ml bottle. I'm going to give you guys a quick little tip. If anybody travels, if anybody travels, you make a stop in Germany, be sure to check, pick this up. This fragrance is a constant on sale fragrance, basically, in Germany. I picked this up for 20 euros. 20 euros, that, that, that's, like, that's like 12 bucks, that's like 12 dollars, that's like... 20 euros is like 12, 15 dollars. Get it. Why not? It's good. Um, this is a fragrance that I grab a lot in the summer when I don't know what to wear. So I'm not a guy that has a collection of 200, 300 bottles. I'm not like a Mark or Tim. I do have a few bottles, but if I ever stand in front of my collection, I don't know what to wear in the summer. This is what I choose, and it is good. So um, the top smells like basically picture mint and rosemary and then cologne. So not cologne, um, cologne is a note, it's C-A-L-O-N-E, so Cal1, cologne, however you want to name it. Cologne is a note um, that has a very intense sea breeze, it has a very intense sea breeze with a floral note in it. Um, a lot of fresh fragrances, a lot of summer fragrances have that note. Um, this is a linear fragrance, this is one dimensional, what you spray is what you get. When you spray this, this is exactly what it's going to smell like when in 8 hours or 6 hours. And speaking of hours, longevity, I get a 6 plus hours every time on this guy. 6 plus hours every time. So, the notes in here are cologne, bur their top notes are cologne, bergamot, and rosemary. Your middle notes are cardamom, musk, nutmeg, plumeria, and your base notes are cedarwood and amber. It's a fairly easy note breakdown. Most of us are going to know what those notes smell like unless it gets to plumeria where it gets a little bit more tricky. But it does have a little minty accord in the top. It does not have a mint note in it, but it does smell a little bit minty at the top with a touch of rosemary. And yeah, that's what the top smells like. And then it is a fairly sweet fragrance, if I mentioned it before. It is fairly sweet. If you're not too into sweet fragrances, this might not be something for you. And the name Jill Saunders Sun Men, this is supposed to simulate or be smell like the sun. I don't know what the sun smells like, guys. Um, but, hey, Jill Sanders Sun Men smells like it. So if you want to know what the sun smells like, get this. No, I'm playing. But, um... The longevity and the projection. Longevity, as I said, I get a 6 plus hours every time I wear this. The projection is good. Now, this isn't a fragrance that is going to kill somebody. So it's fairly, and it is a versatile fragrance. This is very, very versatile. This is a very versatile fragrance. Um, this is a fragrance that does, as I said, last 6 plus hours. Projection is good. People are going to be able to smell this. This is perfect if you are in college, and that's perfect age for it, too. Um, if you're in high school, if you're in college, or if you work in an office and it's summer and you don't know what to wear, grab this, guys. This is perfect for school. <clears throat> I got out of high school not too long ago. This would have been perfect for it. If I would have had this in high school, that would have been perfect. Um, projection, people do smell this. I do get a lot of compliments on this. Since this is a fairly sweet fragrance, women do like sweet fragrances. So in the summer, especially summer nights, this is great for summer nights. In the day, as I said... 
that's going to be your choice if you want to wear it. But season, definitely spring and summer, guys. And fall, definitely fall too. So this is a great fragrance. If you don't know what to wear, it is for a good price. I looked around in America. I can't find this anywhere. So it is on sale a lot in Europe and it is a runner in Europe. But in America, I did some research, FragranceNet.com, a few online retailers in America. This is hard to find. So if you're looking for a fragrance that not a lot of people have, and you don't want to spend 250 bucks on a Creed, get Jill Sanders on men, guys. Get this. So yeah, that was my review for today, guys. Um, another fragrance that I'm really, really stoked to review. I don't really like mentioning the fragrance that I'm going to review next or even what I have. But I've been wearing this the past couple of days is Narciso for Narciso Rodriguez for him, um, the Udi Parfum Musk collection. I've been wearing this the past few days and I'm really excited to review this. So my next review is probably going to be on this guy. So great fragrance. Definitely excited to review that fragrance. Um, one more thing I'm going to mention. If anybody, if you need a new computer, if you need a new computer, message me. Let me know. Um, I'm selling my laptop, um, I do not need to, this has served me a very good time, um, a good year and a half, I've done all my work on this computer, it has Windows Vista Home Premium, it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, message me if you want to know about it, and I'll make a good price for you. So, no problem there. Um, another thing that I'm going to mention, with the, since we're in computers right now, J.R. Ryder did an unboxing of a MacBook Pro, Fabian! did an unboxing of a MacBook Pro about a month ago. He's going to do another one. Woohoo! No, I, yes. Um, I'm selling my bio, and um, I ordered a MacBook. Um, it's in a plane. It's in a box, sitting, waiting. I don't know if anybody's heard, but the volcano in... Yeah, I know the German name for it, but I don't know the American name for it right now, so I'm not even going to mention naming the wrong name. It's... The island in between Europe and America, right in the middle, with a huge volcano that nobody can pronounce, that nobody can pronounce his name, erupted, and there's a whole bunch of smoke, and it's all over Europe, and planes have not been flying for the past four days. That means my Mac is shipped. It's on a box. It says Apple.com. Your product is shipped. Okay, it's in a box. It got to the plane, but it hasn't got to my house yet, so it's sitting in a plane, waiting for this cloud to go away. So, quite frankly, I'm cloud go away so I can get my Mac so for all my subscribers I can do my review so it'd be nice now that was my quick update tell you guys what's going on with me why I haven't been on the past six days had a few problems but hey it's gravy it's cool so everybody have a great day and everybody take it easy and I'll be back in the next couple of days to either do a MacBook Pro unboxing or do a fragrance review on Arquiso Rodriguez for him Udi Parfum not the one that you have. You might have the Udi Toilette. Udi Parfum. Check it out. No. But everybody take it easy. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.